The Battlefront Network, brought to you by Eterno Studios. Hello everybody and welcome to the Battlefront Network today with me Tom, thank you for tuning in, I hope you're all having a good day. So some fresh news by DICE has been revealed that links in with a new Star Wars Battlefront and that is that DICE is upgrading their servers to deal with ongoing Battlefield 4 issues. And of course, if you play Battlefield 4, you will know that there are quite a few issues with the game still and that a lot of people are complaining about them and so DICE is taking steps to actually ensure they are removed. But what does this mean for Star Wars Battlefront? Well, firstly, a quote by DICE on their decision to upgrade their servers, I think, puts it into perspective of what they plan to do for Star Wars Battlefront. And they quote, we are unhappy with our server performance, so we'll be upgrading the hardware as soon as possible, investing more to deliver a better experience. So if this, if this is happening uh, quite later on uh, for Battlefield 4 and they're taking a more serious step towards improving it, they will of course do this for Star Wars Battlefront. And by that I mean that they are taking on board the serious issues that were in Battlefield 4 and preventing them from being in Star Wars Battlefront and making the actual release of the game as smooth as possible. But DICE has also explained that they are working on their netcode too, which is of course another vital aspect of the multiplayer experience that is basically being road tested on Battlefield 4 ahead of the Star Wars Battlefront release date next year. And that's a pretty optimistic view that us Battlefront fans can take on the development of the game. And also Electronic Arts has already acknowledged that one of the roots of Star Wars Battlefront is of course the third person mode, like those found in the earlier versions of Battlefront and of course if you've played them you'll know. And they also explained quite a while back now that they will not be cranking out a new Battlefront game every year. And their plan to stop doing this is that they will rotate between Titanfall, Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefield games every year. And since Titanfall has released this year and Battlefield 4 of course launched last year, it stands to the reason that Star Wars Battlefront will be here in 2015. So tell me what you think in the comment section below about the news and that DICE is finally taking a serious note and working hard on Star Wars Battlefront. So yep, yeah, until next time, goodbye.